Hi everyone, welcome to our channel, Rebecca Stew and the crew. I'm Rebecca, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make these floating flowers. Ours cost $5 to make, the one that we purchased was $42. So I'm going to show you guys how to make these. So the supplies you'll need are two of these chalkboard easels from Dollar Tree. You'll also need some twine and some flowers of your choice. I'm going to use these purple flowers here. You'll need a um, razor blade, scissors, a paintbrush, and a pencil. You're going to need some floral wire and some paint or wood stain. It's really up to you. And then we're going to use one of these travel bottles from the Dollar Tree, as well as a little bit of sandpaper. And you'll need a wrench or something to grab the wire so you can twist it onto the bottle. And you'll need a drill so you can drill a small hole in the sides of it. So let's get crafty. So the first thing we're going to do is take our razor blade and pry off this easel part from both of the chalkboards. You do want to keep that because you're going to use the screw out of those to put this together. So then you're just going to slide that razor blade underneath of the frame here. You could use a small screwdriver as well to pry that chalkboard off. It does take a little bit of work and you wanna be careful you don't pop the ends apart, but it does come apart. And then you're going to take a screwdriver and just remove those screws. And like I said, hold on to those cause we're going to use those to put this together. Then take some sandpaper to sand off that um, little bit of cardboard that was stuck to the frame from the glue. Then I'm going to take this Waverly um, truffle paint and it's like an antiquing wax and we're going to use a sponge brush to lightly brush this on and then I just wiped off the excess and let that dry for a little while. So now we're going to drill a small hole in the end of each one of these little frames here. So I just turned it sideways on the table and made sure I put something under it so I wouldn't drill through the table and we're going to put a little hole through each one here. Now each one serves a different purpose. One's going to be to put the wire through and one's going to be to put it together with the screw as you'll see here in just a second. So this is what it looks like when you pop it together. And so as you see one of the frames goes inside and the other one goes on the outside, then you're just going to put the screw in that pre-drilled hole and then go ahead and screw these together. As you can see that um, little hole at the top is still open and that's going to be to put the wire through. So now we're going to take our travel bottle, some of the floral wire and a wrench, and we're going to put this on the bottle to help hold it um, up onto the little frame there. So you just take one piece of wire and fold it in half around the top of the bottle here. You're gonna hold the ends together and grab it with a wrench and then just start to twist. And as you twist, you get a little, almost like a braided look to it and it gets tighter and tighter as you get closer to the bottle as you can see here. So you wanna twist it until you have it as tight around the top of that bottle as you can get it. And then you're going to do the exact same thing so you have a wire coming off of both sides of the top of the bottle. Now this is where our second screw hole comes through. Here we're just gonna fish the wire through that and then you wanna center your bottle into the middle. You're going to go ahead and cut off the excess wire. You just need a little bit on the ends that you can curl with a screwdriver, around the end of a screwdriver, a dowel rod, a pencil, so that it won't pop through that hole once you have it all together here. So as you see, I trimmed off some wire on this side and then just took my screwdriver and uh, twisted up a little bit on the end of that wire to create like a little corkscrew here on the ends. And this is what it should look like when it's done on both sides. So then I wanted to dress up the bottle a little bit. So I took some of the twine that I had on hand and I just wrapped it around the top of the bottle a few times and just tied it in a knot to secure it. And that helped hide that um, place where the top screwed onto the bottle. Now it looks more like a vase. We just pop the flowers in and that is the whole thing from start to finish. So for $5, I would say that it turned out pretty good considering how much the other one cost. I just love them, but they're just a lot more money than I'm willing to pay to decorate around the house. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching please subscribe like and share if you haven't done so already and here are some other videos from our channel you might also enjoy